Okay, so let's take a look on how to reset this Axis camera. This is a box camera, the P1365 Mark II. As you can see, you have the image of the camera here on the screen. The camera is using this IP 192.168.0.17, okay? After the reset, the camera can get the same IP because the router usually gives the camera the IP that was using before, based on the Mac, all right? Or if you don't have a DHCP server, you're gonna have the default IP of the camera, which is 192.168.0.90, okay? So in this case, uh, the camera is going to receive the same IP because it's the cable is connected here to my PoE switch and the PoE switch is connected to a router, okay? And the router gives the camera uh, the same IP it got it before. Okay, usually, right? So here to reset the camera is pretty simple. Here's the reset button, okay? I'm gonna press and hold this button for 30 seconds, right? I disconnect the power here, press and hold the button, plug the cable again and keep holding the button for 30 seconds. And then I observe the LEDs and I release the button after 30 seconds, all right? So let's do that. So just removing the cable, pressing the button here, let me just use my finger here and really press the button. Then I hold it and put the cable back. Okay, keep pressing the button for 30 seconds. You see, uh, less than 30 seconds, there are some changes here on the LED. So it's supposed to be working, right? So I release the button. It doesn't matter if you hold a little bit more, but now I release the button and uh, I can check my camera. So I look here at the screen, you see that something went wrong because the camera was like not communicating more with the web browser. That's why I have this message, all right? And here on the IP device manager, on the access IP utility, sorry, I take a look and I see that the camera is back online, okay? This utility can find the camera in the network. As long as I have the computer, and the camera connected to the same switch, I can find the camera. And as you can see, it got the same IP. So it's pretty simple, right? And remember, if you don't have this IP, the camera is going to give you 192.168.0.90. That's the default IP address, okay? So now the camera is still trying to load here. Let me just refresh because what happens is that the camera boots up and that takes a while, usually uh, 40 seconds, one minute, around that time, okay? So, but it's important that you have the IP utility so you can see if the camera is back or not. And as you can see here, now the camera is reset and ask me to create a password again, okay? So I can use a password. I'm just input one here. It says there is a weak password. Uh, doesn't matter because I just want to test this camera. And then I create the password, even if it's weak. And then asks here for the frequency, the uh, capture mode, digital PTZ. I just click, click next. And here, uh, DHCP, automatic DHCP. It already got DHCP for a while because I'm using uh, 17, as you can see here already has an IP from my router, but anyway, you can change here if you want to, right? To automatic IP, automatic IP and manual DNS or manual IP and manual DNS, okay? I will leave like that, the way it comes from factory uh, with IP and DNS via DHCP. And here we go, next. And there, the next step, the orientation. Okay, you can, as you can see here, it's auto focus. I can adjust the focus later. I can also adjust the orientation of the camera here if I want like uh, invert the image, okay? So as you can see, it's working. And I hit done. Then I can come here and if I want to adjust the focus of the camera, fine tune here. And here we go. Okay, the camera is basically starting from scratch. So you have to do all the configuration again. So it's basically working and that's 
uh, the way you reset your camera to factory default. 